Do you ever wonder how people have that really cool uh, aesthetic Instagram feed? Like you go on their page and it just looks professional. Like you, you want to learn? Let me show you how to do that. It's a pretty day outside, so we're filming this outside. Oh shit, I'm gonna take this. I'm kinda crusty a little bit right now. I got dust and shit all over me because I was cleaning the apartment a little bit, so uh, forgive that. Yesterday I had a really fun day. I had uh, I went to play Airsoft. Like, I, I used to play a lot of Airsoft when I lived back in the US, uh, and my friend who lives down here in Montpellier has like a group of friends, and they go play Airsofting in these pretty cool woodland map. And it was really fun, so I had a lot of fun yesterday, even though I got shot like right in the head. I don't know if you can see it, it's still kind of there. It's like a dark spot. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in this video we're talking about uh, Instagram feeds and keeping a consistent one, or uh, more importantly, like keeping an aesthetic looking one, because a professional Instagram feed uh, just looks good. The first thing we're gonna talk about is how to plan it out, because you have to plan it out. When you're trying to keep a consistent Instagram feed you usually take pictures kind of ahead of time and you organize it in a grid app so the app I use is called preview it's one that's been shown to me and I like it it's really simple you pretty much log into your Instagram in the app itself uh, so it shows you the pictures you've already posted uh, but then it allows you to add pictures and rearrange them so you can pretty much plan out how your grid is going to look uh, in the future because you have to plan ahead if you want that consistent look because you need to make sure the right pictures are next to other pictures that match it you know in terms of look so I recommend you download the app and uh, if you have some pictures already you plan on posting put them in the app and kind of just see how it all looks so once you have the app let's think about taking the pictures themselves what do you want the pictures to look like? Now, there are a lot of common Instagram feeds. Right now, a really common one is that, uh, you know, that nude Instagram model type uh, one. That's actually the one that my girlfriend uses. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind when doing this. You want to have a consistent look. Now, when getting a consistent look, there are a few different variables you need to focus on. One, the camera that's taking the picture. I will pretty much never post a picture uh, taken from an iPhone or any camera like that because it just won't match the same look uh, in terms of uh, image quality, contrast, and sharpness uh, that you get with a professional camera. And that's why my Instagram feed has a professional look because it's taken with a professional camera. And it's the same thing if you shoot mobile. Like my girlfriend, she shoots mobile pretty much. Uh, so all the pictures she takes of her with her outfit pictures or aesthetic pictures uh, in Paris, uh, they're all taken on a phone and you can tell because the iPhone has a specific color science, a specific look to it uh, where it renders the colors in a similar way so that when you put it in a feed altogether, it looks pretty consistent. So you want to think about what tool you're going to be using to take your pictures so that you can keep that feed consistent. Next thing is the location. Where you shoot the picture is gonna have a huge effect on how it finally looks. I'm gonna use Alexis again as an example because it's one of the ones on the top of my head and I know she takes this really seriously, so check out her Instagram and give her a follow. But what she does is she looks for environments that kind of match the same color palette because yes, she's taking pictures of herself in different outfits, which have different clothes and colors and all that, but maintaining a similar environment allows for the pictures to kind of just flow when they're next to each other because you really wanna just match your pictures. For me, there was a time where I would just look for dark environments, so environments where there's a lot of black and all that, and I'll just fit that all together so it looked yeah, continuous in a way because again you're looking for something that is continuous next thing you want to look into is the editing now the way you edit your pictures should also be the same way one really common way is using presets presets allow you to create a very strong and consistent look throughout an Instagram feed that's what I do there was a time period where I was using uh, probably my most popular preset which is the onyx preset uh, available in my store down below if you want to check out my presets and this allowed me to just to get a really consistent Instagram feed uh, pretty much regardless of of where I took the picture or what I took a picture of because I could just slap the preset on minor adjustments and it would just match the other pictures. So yeah, having a preset or a or two or three presets which kind of all match together now because actually right now I'm not really pushing one preset. I don't just use the Onyx preset. I mix it with my Ignition preset, my uh, what else is there? The Vine preset, the Cream preset, and then a few others I'm using right now so that I get a generally consistent look. Because you can have a consistent look that's very harsh and like every picture looks pretty much exactly the same as other ones. <sighs> Nessie. Oh my God. Or you can have kind of a general theme where you just have uh, similar environments or, or similar presets in a way. Uh, and that's pretty much what I do. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yo, uh, sorry, it's actually the next day. Uh, I just 
stop recording there because my brother came home and we started doing things but anyways i noticed that a lot of the footage was actually uh, out of focus like it would go in and out of focus i think that's just because i kept putting my hands in front of the camera and i didn't have the eye tracking auto focus so i apologize for that but let's just summarize the video and kind of conclude here one get the preview app so you can plan ahead and see what the feed would look like before you actually post the picture because once you post it it may be kind of awkward to delete it and then repost it with a slightly different color or whatever Second of all, use a consistent device to take all your pictures or at least try the best you can so that you have a similar look off the bat because uh, every device has a different color science, dynamic range, and just overall aesthetic. So try to be consistent with that. Finally, use a consistent editing technique, whether it's through presets in Lightroom or whatever you use in Visco or whatever, just use a consistent look so that all your pictures come out the same way. Uh, and yeah, and just, you know, try to match the overall aesthetic of the environment and all that, just so that once the frames are next to each other in preview, you can see what, uh, whatever the aesthetic is you're creating. So yeah. That's, that's pretty much it for this video though, guys. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff to do. I just did a little photo shoot for my dog because I wanted to make a reel uh, or a TikTok or whatever uh, with him. And I think the pictures came out really cool. Don't you, Nessie? Nessie, don't you think the pictures came out really cool? He's not really in a talking mood. He's kind of upset. I kind of made him look like a bad dog. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Peace.